It's the deadliest wildfire in the United States in years. It happened on the lush Hawaiian island of Maui and leveled homes and businesses in the town of Lahaina, which dates back to the 1700s and has long been a tourist mecca. We get the latest from Jonathan Vigliotti. Postcard perfect Lahaina, Maui's historic gem, and once the capital of the Hawaiian kingdom, now lies in ruin. Homes, businesses, and hotels, 80% of the town smolder for miles along the Pacific coast. A pileup of charred cars frozen in place by racing flames show the panic and desperation that hit these streets after many became trapped. Be the horn, be the horn. The wildfire that ripped through this American paradise on Tuesday caught everyone off guard. And I had no idea what was going on because we had you know, no cell service, no TV, no internet. Residents say evacuation orders were never issued, neither were text alerts. Some people so desperate ran into the ocean to escape the flames, but dozens didn't make it out alive. You could breathe, there's no air, it's just the carbon monoxide, and, and we held on as best as we could. By the time help arrived in town, the firestorm had taken a terrible toll. The Hawaii Attorney General has launched a comprehensive review into the emergency response. As officials warn, the number of dead could rise significantly in the weeks to come. Teams with the National Guard are sifting through the ashes, X marking the spots that have already been checked. Officials say canine crews have searched only 3% of the wreckage so far. We've got an area that we have to contain, and it is full of our loved ones. We've got 89 so far. Today, we identified two. It's all eerily reminiscent of another paradise in California, where 85 people died in 2018. Both communities may be separated by an ocean, but they're connected, according to scientists, by the very same warming atmosphere that's brought more drought, less rain, and a higher fire risk. This weekend in Lahaina, thousands remain displaced, living in shelters, unsure of what comes next. We're the only things we have now, because everything that we had in the past is gone. Federal aid, already approved by President Biden, will help the city rebuild, but it will take years. Among the few survivors that will link old to new is the town's sprawling 150-year-old banyan tree, badly burned but unbowed. In Hawaiian culture, the banyan is a symbol of growth, strength, and rebirth.